Okay, y'all. Right here, I just got um, an Amazon box. Um, I tend to have a lot of those. And I'm just, I just want some cardboard. And I'm just going to cut off them little side flaps right there. Because, yeah, I needed some cardboard. So, I don't have a pattern or anything. And I tend to do this a lot. And I don't mean to do this to y'all. But maybe y'all can go on the computer and print out a pattern um, for this or how you want. I mean, it's just really easy. I didn't even, like, draw it. I just took scissors and cut it out. <laughs> And then I traced it onto the second piece of cardboard there. Anyway, and I'm just going to hot glue them together to make them good and sturdy. Y'all know what I'm making. Yeah, if you, if you see it right, little, 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 little. It's all the thumbnail. So I got some nautical rope there. And I only had like two of that kind and a couple of another. But I need to get me some. And I'm going to hot glue it down to the tip of my cardboard there. And hold on to it real good until I get it good and started. Because I want that end to come down at a little point. I don't want it to be flat. And that rope sticks to the cardboard real good with that hot glue. I mean, it ain't going to go nowhere. And just wrap it, wrap it, wrap it. And I put glue, at least a little bit, on almost every piece. Now, when I ran out of rope there, I didn't take it around to the front. Because I didn't want it to be seen. Um, so, I just left it on the back. Restarted another piece. And... Wrap, 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 wrap. Anyway, you see right there the difference. And I had to take a, a spare piece and wrap around um, the end of it. So, yeah. But you won't be able to tell it. And just wrap it. Uh, <laughs> no, duh. And glue it down. And duh. And I left a little tiny piece of cardboard showing. And I'm going to paint the entire thing in pumpkin orange by Waverly. And I, if you take one of them... Uh, like stencil brushes from the Dollar Tree, you can get in them cracks real good. Okay, right there, y'all. A lot of y'all know I got those canvases for a dollar at the Family Dollar. I was like, oh my goodness, eleven by seventeen, and I take a little tiny flathead screwdriver and I and my lineman pliers there and pull all my staples out, and I sand it down because I don't want any rough edges. Because sometimes you can have rough edges in those frames, and I'm going to stain it. And, y'all, now listen, this stuff is amazing. It's walnut, um, it's a water-based, um, wood tint, it's called, by Home Decor Folk Art, um, and that stuff is amazing. It ain't slick like, uh, Waverly Antique Wax. I like Waverly Antique Wax. Do not get me wrong. But that stuff, it, and it dries so fast, and it's not slicky, and it's just, I don't know, I can't, I can't describe it, but y'all really need to check it out. So right here, I got some little random strips of wood, and y'all laugh at me, but I get those free from the Home Depot. I think because I told people that I was getting them for free the last couple times I went, they ain't been none. They're like, where you been? We're out of it. Someone got to it. Anyway, so I cut all these little random pieces and a couple of uh, small paint stir sticks. And I think maybe one big paint stir stick. And I just arrange them in different, like, you know, just a pattern. Uh, I don't know. That don't make no sense. How I thought it looked good. There we go. And I leave a little tiny gap in between. I'm taking that wood glue, hot glue. And gluing them down. And I put some glue just around the edge. I don't know why, but I did. And I'm going to take my electric stapler and staple the boards down. I got a piece of jute. Going to tie a knot in it. Take the little tips from the paint stir sticks I cut off. Hot glue that jute down. And that stick there. And that ain't going to go nowhere, y'all, either. And now, yeah, I'm going to hot glue my carrot down there. Hee <laughs> This thing, y'all, is gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. It's one of my favorites. And I take hot glue around the edges. I want to make sure it stays. This thing, y'all, I'm in love with it. And I'm going to take some Spanish moss and hot glue that down. And if y'all don't love it, tell me. Say, no, I don't I don't love it um, in the comments. And then I'll be like, oh, okay. Make me sad, but okay. Anyway, I got some boxwood there. Just pieces, bits and pieces. I've gathered over the years and some lambs here. And all that came from Walmart. And just going to stick it down in, like, glue it down there to my frame and behind that Spanish moss. And some uh, eucalyptus. I'm just making this a hot mess, but it's so pretty. And I don't know why I love it. 
There's gingham ribbon from Walmart, and then that little polka dotted black and white, po black and white, good gravy. That ribbon, burlap ribbon. I'm out of gingham ribbon, y'all. I can't find any anywhere. Anyway, and I'm just going to make me a bow. Um, That little polka dotted ribbon is adorable. Anyway, and I'm just cutting me off a couple pieces of the gingham and the burlap polka dotted and taking a, a wire tie and going to tighten it down and fluff up my little bow. Clip off my wire tie and fluff my bow some more, and I don't know why. And glue it to, oh my goodness, to my carrot. And I'm going to dovetail the ends and crinkle up my little ribbon. And y'all, oh my gosh, is this not the cutest thing? Oh my goodness, I am in love with this. I don't know about y'all, but I am in love with it. So totally, seriously. Okay, I got two of those mirrors from the Dollar Tree and... Y'all, look at my face. I look so serious. Um, the the small ones have cardboard in the back. That doesn't. That's just doesn't. That's just mirror. And I was like, well, there we go. So don't do this. If if you're gonna use these frames, take it outside, put it in a cardboard box, use gloves, then break it up. I didn't, but don't do what I do. So I'm gonna trace them out there on poster board that I got from the Dollar Tree also, and take my exacto knife and course cut it out make sure your knife's real sharp so you're you won't smash down your uh poster board got me some burlap there gonna cut me out um pieces of burlap to cover it up with i know they're crooked now um because i had to cut them down they were too big yeah you'll have to go a little bit smaller than the frame y'all and i put a light coat of mod podge on the poster board and put my burlap down now was, there was humped up i needed to iron but i was too lazy and I just put Mod Podge where it was humped up to make it lay down. But I did get it around the edges real good. When it completely dries, you won't be able to tell it. Um, I'll still work and while it's still wet. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. Okay. I got two of those little bunny rabbits. Those are from last year from the Dollar Tree. Um, I don't think I've gotten anything from this year. And I'm going to take some reindeer moss. There's the SKU number. Um, well, I didn't mean to show all this, but I did. I'm going to chop it down real fine. Just cut it, cut it, cut it. That stuff gives me the chills. It smells funny, and it feels funny to me. But anyway, I'm weird. So I put hot glue all over it, all over my bunny rabbit, and I just smashed that Spanish moss down on there. First, I went around the edges because I wanted to make sure I could cut it out real good. Then I did fill up the center. But then, after you get it on there, just trim that Spanish moss away and get the shape of your little bunny rabbit back. Uh, make it big and fluffy if you want, or make it thin if you want. And I'm going to cut my burlap out. No, I'm going to cut my ring out from my I don't know. I'm cutting the burlap off that. See, it's still wet. I didn't let it dry all the way. Because patience is a virtue, and I'm not very... I don't know. I I can't say that. Anyway, I'm going to take Aileen's tacky glue and go around the edge of my little frame. Now, it's real small on the back of it, but what I do here in a minute is going to make sure it stays. I wish I'd cut that straighter, but I did it, and it's still cute. And nobody needs to be looking at the back of it anyway. And I'm going to take juke twine, I know, nautical rope, and wrap it around the inner side because that's going to make it stay on there. And the thing is so light, it's not going anywhere. And I cut the rope at an angle at the end so I can... Make it look like it's seamless, but the best I can. And it may not, but it's the best I could do. And I hot glue my little bunny rabbits down there. And I'm going to make two little hangers. Um, Yeah, just measure not make sure they're the same length. <laughs> want to make sure you saw all that. And I'm going to, with the nautical rope, uh, I don't know what I'm saying, y'all. Hot glue them down. Good gravy. And I'm going to take some white duct tape and cover up while the glue's still warm because um, you can't see it as bad. So these are already cute as is, but I, I have to be extra. So I'm going to take some Spanish moss and make it look like my little bunny sitting in a little nest. <laughs> I take that um, air dry clay from the Dollar Tree. It's just a little tiny thing. And I'm making me some carrots, y'all. These things are so dang cute. I mean, y'all, look at them. You're like, that just don't look like nothing to me. 
but it does. Oh my goodness. I made Easter eggs too. They're so cute. And I'm going to take some boxwood there. My bigger carrots, I stuck bigger stems of boxwood down. This is why the clay's still wet. Stuck it down in there. Now, I only let them dry about, I don't know, an hour before I used them. But when they dried overnight, it was much better. But, you know, I, I didn't do that, of course. But, okay. And when the really, really, really small, <laughs> really, really, the really small ones, I just put one little piece of boxwood down in there for the greenery. Those are adorable. And I made two little bows, gingham bows, and glued them like cattywampus on my frame. Glued one of my little carrots in the middle of it. And look how cute. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> These are too cute. I love them. Oh, my goodness. Okay, y'all. I got one that sign from Christmas time. And I'm just going to take, I don't know why I cut the tag off. Just tear up my soul fair. Take the staples out. Now, I sand down over a little hole. Paper, when it hangs over the edge, I've told y'all this before, it drives me nuts, and you can see it. So, I peel it back so my stuff will look better. <clears throat> then, I'm going to cover the back with some, cra I call it craft paper, shipping paper, whatever you get it at the Dollar Tree. Put some hot glue on it so nobody's going to cover up. I'm going to cover up that ugly. Yeah, because that is ugly. But, anyway, put hot glue on there, and you just good to go. Hot to trot. Look there, der, der, der. Anyway, and cut the mace off around the edges. Okay, I'm going to paint it white. I give it two coats of Waverly white chalk paint. Now here, I'm going to make me a little border. And I'm just taking some painter's tape. <clears throat> I don't measure, y'all. Y'all might want to measure. I don't. I'm, I guesstimate. And, yeah. Anyway... And it, what I did is took my craft knife and cut off the edge there, the corner. You know, you saw me do it to make it straight. Um, the rest of it I try to cut with scissors, but if anybody, anybody, any of it hung over, I cut it with a craft knife. <sighs> exactly. Whatever. Y'all know. And I'm taking some uh, Waverly Chalk Paint ink. Um, I'm trying not to say anyway as much because <laughs> I was called out on that. It was funny. Um... Um, um, I'm saying I'm a lot. And then I take, uh, my, now look, I like to take it off while it's wet. Um, the tape off while the paint's wet. But here I had to dry it because I needed, or I wanted to reuse my tape again. And I just make me two thin lines going across the side of it, top side. Y'all remember the, um, sign I made for Christmas said Jesus is the reason for the season. Why well, I'm going to make me an Easter one. And I know y'all was like, I can't believe she's doing Easter already. Well, and look, I put my tape down the side there and made me a thin line. Look what happened at Christmas. I got sick for two months and couldn't finish my Christmas stuff. So I'm going to make sure I'm on it with Easter, y'all. Anyway, I just like that little pattern there. Now, I got that little snowman. He was from Christmas time. Galvanized snowman. Anyway, in that um that Buffalo Check vinyl <clears throat> from the Dollar Tree. Hmm. I stuck a piece of that to my cricket mat, my medium grip cricket mat, and I got the paper stuck on there. I need to work to get that off. Anyway, I just cut me a piece off there, and it wasn't straight, so I straightened it up and just cut it out with your craft knife, cut out around it, and it was easy as pie. And I got two jumbo, the really large craft sticks from the Walmart, and I'm going to make me some bunny ears. <laughs> y'all i just love the stuff in this video i mean well one thing i really really didn't like and y'all's gonna be like i understand why um you'll see like ooh, kathy what's the matter with you anyway so i put that mess down there and i traced around it so i know where to put the hot glue down and i'm using wood glue hot glue to make my ear stick and I uh, put an extra piece so it wouldn't like wobble you know what I mean I wanted to lay even and I cut a piece of that vinyl off so I can use my glue and I take fix all glue fix all super glue from the Dollar Tree and I take hot glue and I glue my little bunny rabbit down in it and to the stuff and those snowballs yeah see I had a cute idea for those snow well, I didn't get to work anyway they're the medium-sized snowballs from the Dollar Tree from Christmas and I just 
glued on the rear end. His little took us um, on his bum and make me a bunny tail. And on my cricket, I printed out silly rabbit Easter's for Jesus, and I think that is adorable. It is adorable, y'all. This thing's so cute. Yeah, that's why that paper got stuck to my mat, y'all. That's crazy, man. Crazy. Crazy. I don't know. So, there we go. I think this is so cute. I hope y'all like it. I do. And, yeah, I don't know why I showed y'all that mess, but you know my editing skills are on power. Anyway, I'm taking a paint stir stick, and I'm going to hold it up there because this is going to be my stand. I just put me, well, I tried to put me a line. It's hard to do. I needed, like, five hands. Yeah. And I'm going to take two tumbling tire blocks. They were, I just grabbed some out of a bucket. One's white and one's black. And then I do, like, an L shape. You'll see it here in a minute when I stand it up and glue it across through there. That way you can hang it over on something, or you can do what I'm about to do. And that's this. There you go. That's simple. Look there. <laughs> Stand it up. There you go. Yay. Hi, guys. I love you. And love you very much. From the bottom of my heart. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm just going to make me a bow. Y'all, I just opened that ribbon. No joke. And I used it all in this video. A whole row. A whole row. A whole bow, bow, bow. Anyway. And I glue it there to the side of my little sign. And y'all, is this not the cutest or what? Oh my goodness. Look how cute that is. I love it, y'all. I'm telling you. I love it. I think it's adorable. Okay, got me some more foam board here. And I got this compass cutter. It's got a blade in it and it's cut you circles and you... Put it down, leaves a little hole in the middle of your thing, but you just slowly turn it around, turn around until it cuts out a perfect circle. And I cut three inch circles. And I sand them down a little bit and I took lightweight spackle and I put it in a hole in the center of it, let that dry, sand that down a tad. And then I take this uh, egg paper, I got it last year, Easter time at Hobby Lobby. And I'm just going to take my glue stick and glue my little round things there to that paper y'all my mouth is dry every time i do a video and i talk so much it just my mouth goes dry i don't know why i said it so loud i was thinking y'all couldn't hear me because i'm really far away from some of y'all <laughs> <laughs> anyway just cut it out with my craft knife and i'm gonna use that that scrapbooking paper i got from walmart mm -hmm. and i wanted that blue dot side so when I get my paper on there, just with my glue stick, I wrap nautical rope around the edge of all of them. Just glue it down there real good. <clears throat> and on the egg side, I took purple and white baker's twine. I got that from the Dollar Tree too, y'all. And I put it on the inner edge there. And then on the back side, the blue side, I put jute twine. That jute came from Walmart. Um, the Walmart. And I wrap it around the inside. Now I take a uh, masking tape and I like to tape it down and put my letters on it and things like that so I can paint them without holding them and getting it all over me and making a mess everywhere. So that, the Easter uh, word, I painted lavender purple by Waverly. I think that's what it's called, lavender. And the spring, I'd originally painted blue and then I was like, it's not going to show up good on that blue. So I painted yellow. Mm hmm. Yellow yellow and you should poke holes in it punch holes in it before you put the nautical rope on it my my um my crocodile wouldn't couldn't get the holes with the jute there so i just took that garden tool and jabbed holes in it and made little circles in it and hot glue your letters down now here i put three beads like a big small big i think they are um let me think I think they're um, 10 millimeter and 8 millimeter. So it was like 10 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 10 millimeter. That put three in between each one. And then I, I doubled up my jute there, see? And I ran it through. I went through the Easter word and then pulled the jute up from under it and, and 
I took one string on one side and one on the other and double my I hope y'all can see what I'm doing. Because, okay, here's one more time. This is why I did it like this, because I'm like, okay, see, I took both strings and ran it through the front where the Easter is. Come on, Abby, get in here. I'm sorry, y'all. Every time I start a video, these dogs want to go out. And see how I split the... Y'all see what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Again, I should not be allowed on YouTube. Could you imagine me as a school teacher? Them children would be so confused. None of them would make it to the next grade. <laughs> they'd be like, we got to keep you back. Something wrong with y'all. And then they'd be like, it's teacher. And I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, at the top there, I just made a, a lark's head knot, but I put five beads. It was big, small, big, small, big. Hmm. <laughs> uh, anyway, and that's how I made my hanger, and that's how I do it on the opposite end in case I forget to tell you there. And I just tie a knot in it so I can hang it. And then I'm going to make me a tassel. Now, with the jute, I wrapped it around 20 times. With the blue, I wrapped it 8. The yellow was 8. And the purple was 10. That's how many times I wrapped it. 8, 8, 10, 20. And, yeah. I don't know. Well, I didn't show me making a tassel. I think I've showed it like a million times. Y'all probably don't want to see it anyway. So I made little yellow and blue bows. And I just alternated it down through there. It was like yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue. And I just wrapped the the baker's twine around my finger five times and tied a string in the middle and made my bow that way. Jesse, you want cookie? Jesse, you want cookie? Get in here. All oh, that dog, y'all. Anyway, and I took my little carrots and glued them every other one. I took my little eggs and I took my paint markers and I colored them because I thought that'd be the quickest easiest way but it was such a mess and I did yellow and pink and then I took the black paint marker and put little specks on them and I glued them down every other other <laughs> and there it is y'all there it says spring see I got this wall and here it says he said when you come in my front door and it's a little skinny wall and I thought that'd be something cute to hang on that wall I just think it's adorable, y'all. Oh, well, there you go. That's not Disney. Disney, you guys. I, well, <laughs> I want to make sure you saw it. I'm proud of my little carrot, you guys. Anyway, okay. Right here. Y'all, I tried. I got one of them round signs that was left over from summer last year. I got tons of stuff in my crafter. I really don't need to buy anything else. And I want to show y'all what Jessie does here in a minute. She loves that sound when um, you sing glitter off of <laughs> anything. She's goofy. Bless her heart. And anyway, she just keeps giving me kisses. See? <laughs> She's so sweet. <laughs> oh, goodness. Here, she lays her head down right where I had been sanding that glitter. She gets glitter all down the side of her face. She likes to lick it, too. Jessie, you want cookie? You want cookie? Anyway, see, she's crazy. And some of y'all ask if I could show her more because I haven't been showing her as much lately. Because this is what I do. Look how pretty. I deal with all the time when she's, when I'm crafting. Poor little Abby's just so quiet and sets aside. I need to get her on here. Anyway, so I'm taking that calendar. That was this year that from 2022, that picture. And then there's the Simply Blessed one from last year, 2021, which you know 2021 was last year. And I was trying to decide which one I wanted. So, I take that one. Yeah. Y'all, we are about to hit 10,000 subscribers. I cannot believe it. And I got to think of a good giveaway. Anyway, so I take a piece of cardstock because this is the way I like to do my calendar pieces because they're so thin. And plus, I want to cover up that picture there because I'm using the front of it. And I just take that glue stick. Did I already say that? Anyway, and glue it down. And take my X-Acto knife and cut it out. I love that knife, y'all. My mama got it for me for Christmas. It's a Cricut one, and that thing is sharp. Anyway, take my little squeegee there and try to flatten it out. I kept thinking there was wrinkles in it, and it wasn't. It was the shading on the picture. I'm just going to rub the color clear off of it. Anyway. Just cut it out. That thing is so cute. And I got that 12-inch uh, 
rate form. I think it's what size it is. I can't see. And I'm going to take me some hot glue and glue down the start of some burlap. That burlap came from Walmart, y'all. I've had that forever and a day. Yes, I have. I don't know. Ten years. Anyway, and I hot glue it down there. And, y'all, if you want to learn how to make wreaths, go to somebody else's channel. Because I'm not good at it. <laughs> I made the prettiest pumpkin wreath in the fall. I was so proud of that thing. But I feel like every time I make a wreath, it just looks like a hot mess. Now, I got that vine. I, you know what? I think it, it said it had a Hobby Lobby tag on it. But I think I got that from Walmart. I mean, not Walmart. Dollar Tree, y'all. Because I got other ones there um, that was from Walmart. I don't know. I'm confused. I've just confused y'all. So, I put that down. And I put some eucalyptus down. I'm just taking everything apart and just gluing it in there. And see, I think it just, I don't know. I don't feel like I know what I'm, I don't know what I'm doing when I make reads. But anyway, I got some of them eggs, and I painted two of them pool from Waverly. Um, some of them were just the plain styrofoam eggs, and some of them I was able to paint over because they were smooth, didn't have ziggy zags on them. Painted two of them lavender, two of them that pool color. This is all Waverly chalk paint, except that one. That yellow is uh, eek, sunny morning, and then that's pink ballet slipper. By Waverly. The other one's folk art. Yeah, so two pink, two yellow, two blue, and two purple. Yeah. And I got, I was trying to match the eggs in the picture, but psh, not so good I did. I got those little daubers from the Walmart, and I think there's only $2.97 in the different size ones. And I take some Waverly white chalk paint, and I put little dots on the yellow ones and the pink ones. I just start gluing my eggs in. My eggs. <laughs> you spell that A-I-G-S? Eggs. And I got that yellow freesia, it said. And I forgot to put some right there in that one corner. See, I'm a bad wreath maker. Bad, horrible. But anyway, just glued my little eggs in. And I put some baby's breath in. Just some randomness. I don't know. I was like, how can I make this look cute? And then I take those little... Styrofoam balls. I got those last year. Some pink, some yellow, and some's blue. And I glue some of them in there. Told you, just randomness. And I'm going to make a big, giant bow. And all that ribbon came from the Dollar Tree last year. That's just, that's what I'm saying. Well, I don't even know if they got Easter stuff out. I have no clue, y'all. have no clue. I, I need to go to the Dollar Tree, but I don't need to go because... I'll spend a bunch of money that don't make no sense when I got too much stuff the way it is. Anyway, look, I thought I could tie my bow around new there, and then I realized I glued that picture on the back of there. Oh, I didn't even show y'all me gluing the picture on the back of there. Well, that's what I did. Anyway, and there it is. I mean, it's cute, but <sighs> y'all, well, I don't know what happened to the... I don't know. I mean, it's cute. The more I look at it, the cuter it gets. I just can't do some wreaths very well. Anyway, I did it anyway. Right here, <clears throat> I got two terracotta pots. I got them from the Dollar Tree last year. I paint one pink and one yellow. Goodness. And I got those little butterflies from the Dollar Tree last year. And it, it's little cute little butterflies, and but they're sitting on... Looks like cardboard. I think it is cardboard. But it looks like wood behind them. They're really adorable. But they weren't going to match what I was doing. So I take the top part off. And I end up and I laid them the way they were on the thing. So I know which body went with what thing. And I painted eight of them. <clears throat> I painted some yellow. I painted some pink. And I painted some agave. Kind of went wonky with that paint there the different color oh and i painted some uh that lavender purple and all that was um waverly chalk paint yeah and then i take some of them little uh sticker bead things from the dollar tree and take a stencil brush and i paint three rows in agave and three rows in the lavender purple yeah and then I take those the calendar pieces again, the little two tiny bunny rabbits. It's all the bunny rabbits I could find was those two. And I cut them out, but I, I cut the uh, the corners, I round the corners off. I don't know. Just thought it looked cute. 
and they're not going to be straight and even, but you know. And I take some Aileen's Tacky Glue, and I put it on the back of my picture, and voila. And then I take a wet wipe and wipe the glue off around it. And I do that for both my little pictures. Put one on my yellow pot and one on my pink pot. Pink pot. Anyway. And I cut some of the little tiny dots off and I put them in the center of my little butterflies because I thought that was cute. And then just stuck my butterflies back onto their cardboard pieces the way they went. <laughs> anyway. And I took my agave beads and put them on my yellow pot. And then I took my lavender beads and put them around the top of my pink pot. Look at those little teeny tiny terracotta pots I got, y'all. Anyway, <clears throat> put me some styrofoam in there. Uh, floor foam, I mean. Whatever, it doesn't matter. And look at those beautiful pit berries Miss Rita got, uh, Herndon sent me. Um, so I'm going to use a bunch of them. Them came from Tennessee. There's some Easter ones there. You see that? And I'm going to cut off different pieces. And I'm going to stick it down in my little tiny flower pots. And I take a pencil and I curly cue them all up. And I'm going to take some pretty lavender and put it down in my pots. And decorate them up there. Y'all, my videos may be wonky. My daughter and son-in-law bought a house, and I'm so happy for them. And I've been down there helping them work and taking wallpaper down. The house was built in 1900, and it's all updated with new stuff. I'll put some Spanish moss in there. Then I'm going to put my little butterflies on these little pitberry stems. Got new windows and all that jazz, but it was decorated in 1980s, and oh, we're working on hind ends off. And that's why my video is late now. And I'm sorry, I'm going to try to be... I, I mean, I'm gonna get one out every week, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna try to stay regular. It's gonna be hard, cause she works, and I'm trying to work around her schedule and help her. But I love you guys. Y'all mean the world to me. These are so cute. Um, I, I appreciate you more than you could ever imagine. We're almost to ten thousand. We're gonna do a big giveaway, and you guys are just the best. I mean, without you, there'd be no me. This channel is y'all's channel because. It just wouldn't be here without y'all. And I just truly, truly, from the bottom of my heart, love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I sure miss you guys. I wish I could do more. But it's it's hard. I got so much going on. But mwah, big hugs. Love you. Bye.